Buhay mga kababayan namin sa Canada Welcome po sa aming uh, YouTube channel Ang Kabayan Investor Canada Ako po si JR Ako po si Saloy At kami po ay nandito upang ibagi sa inyo ang aming konting kaalaman At karanasan pagdating sa pag-invest sa stock market By buying and selling stocks Buying and selling of stocks using direct investing account. Mga kababayan, meron po akong katanungan sa inyo. Meron po ba kayong RSP, TFSA, or RSP uh, sa banko dito sa Canada or anumang financial institution dito sa Canada? Kung meron po, satisfied po ba kayo sa retate, uh, return rate annually na nakukuha nyo sa mga investment nyo na to uh, from this bank? who are managing uh, your accounts. Kung meron po kayong chance, maybe uh, you can look at your financial statements and see if, if uh, letting these banks manage your savings or investment is definitely um, worth it or not. Nasabi ko po yun because based on my experience, I used to have uh, my bank uh, to manage my RSP and TFSA account, mga kababayan. Uh, but when I when I get to the point na I check uh, how much or magkano talaga yung kinikita ng investment ko uh, which they are managing it turned out na the average annual return is only around 3.5% pakalayit eh, di po ba? Considering na ito pong mga banko na to, ito mga financial institution na to like uh, RBC, CIBC, Manulife, Sun Life, they're racking up billions of dollars in profits every year, mga kababayan. By using our hard-earned money, yung mga pera po na dinideposito, dinideposito natin sa kanila. And what's happening is they're only rewarding us or in my case, 3.5% of my total savings. So having said that, ito po yung mga proof of how much these banks are making. And a TD Bank reports 2.96 billion. That's only for fourth quarter of last year. CIBC, 1.27 billion dollars. Again, just fourth quarter of last year. BMO, same thing. $11 billion quarterly. Grabe po, di ba? Laki na kinikita nila. Napakalaki, kuya. Sobrang laki na kinikita ng mga banko na ito for managing our money. And then, it turned out pala, mga kababayan, na there's another option where we can manage our RSP or TFSA or RESP by ourselves and this is through direct investing account with this account mga kababayan you can buy and sell stocks in Toronto Stock Exchange or in US Stock Exchange using your RSP or TFSA money kagandaan po nito mga kababayan I don't know if you're aware of this sa TFSA po any gains or profit na kikitain nyo by buying and selling are tax-free. Imagine that. And with RSP, mga kababayan, because you're, you're saving this for your retirement, the potential to earn 3 to 30% or even higher will greatly increase your chances of having more money kapag nag-retire kayo. Di ba kaya? Yeah, that's Mga kababayan, based po sa aking experience, self-managing your RSP or TFSA through direct investing account can generate much more higher rate of return versus bank-managed RSP TFSA under a balanced portfolio mutual fund. But, mga kababayan, please take note, but when you invest in stock market, this will require you 
some good understanding, research, discipline, and lots of experience and how the stock market works for you to gain profits. Yeah. Can I can I butt in? Tama si Don, you have to study. Kasi there's no such thing as easy money. That's right. So, <laughs> stock trading tayo, you manage your own uh, uh, investment sa banko through stock trading. So, you have to uh, diligently study paano tumatakbo ang stock trading. So, Tama. That's my opinion. Kaya po, yun ang risk. Kaya po, hinahaya natin ang mga banko na mag-manage nito dahil wala tayong knowledge, right? Wala tayong um, um, backgrounds uh, pagdating sa investing. Um, kaya po, kailangan, we have to equip ourselves about investing stock market. Hindi naman po ganun kahirap. We just have to really uh, do our due diligence um, to learn how the stock market works. Elian, mga kabayan? Here it is. <laughs> so, tignan nyo po to. Bank manage RSP, TFSA, or RSP. If it's under balance portfolio, usually ang average return po niyan is 2 to 8%. And that's before fees, mga kababayan. Actually, let's say, ang average return or ang rate of return niyo is 8%. Only if the economy is doing well, makukuha nyo yan. Ang, ang, ang problema po dito, your investment, either you make money or not, kailangan nyo pong magbayad ng bank fees. And that's the sad part about it. We're, we're in sa self-managed RSP, kung kayo nagmamanage ng inyong RSP or DFSA through direct investing account, the potential is unlimited. You can, your annual return can range from 3 to 30% or even higher. Pero meron din pong loss. Okay? Uh, all depends how you manage your risk in buying stocks. Because, para lang pong business yan, there's always risk. Kung gusto nyong kumita, there's always risk. Wala pong pinagkaiba ang stock market. Kailangan po, that's why you have to study it research, learn the terms uh, that they use in stock market, uh, and practice, kababayan. Kagandaan po sa direct investing account, you can open a practice account para po matry nyo kung, kung para sa inyo ba ito o hindi. Pumili ng tamang stock na pwedeng magpalago ng pera. Oh, it's Tama just ko? like, uh, parang ano yan, eh? parang nagbabuy and sell ka. Yes, uh, not only stock trading, parang kung nari, nagbabuy and sell ka ng katulad nito, uh, papakita ko sa inyo. Bumili ka ng ganitong drill, tapos nabili mo ng 20, mm-hmm. tapos tinos mo sa internet, binenta mo ng 30, may bumili. So, stock trading is just like that, that way. Parang nagbebenta ka ng isang produkto, tapos bibili mo ng mura, ibebenta mo siya ng mahal. The same thing with stock trading, ganoon din ang, ang sistema. Na. That's right. Uh, so, here's some proof. I bought, ito po ay from, from my recent um, stock trading um, in February of this year. I bought a Great West Life stock. Ang stock code po niya is GWO. So, that's one term na kailangan niyo hindi. Um, malaman, stock code or ticker symbol. Oh, symbol, yeah. GWO for Great West Life isang malaking insurance company dito sa Canada I bought it February 4 and then I sold it 3 days after Why? Makikita nyo po dito sa aking account my direct investing account binura ko lang po ang pangalan ko dyan at ang number ko for security reason So nung binili ko po siya it's $28.41 per share at naibenta ko po siya after 3 years ng $29.65 per share. So, kung susumahin niyo po, the gains is $974 minus the trading fee. Kasi po, bawat transaction, RBC charges you $995. Uh, that's what you call the broker's fee, right? Yeah. Kaya, kasi ganyan po ang direct investing account. 
they serve as your broker. So, sila po ang, um, yung, ang inyong representative sa stock market or ang inyong stock broker sa Toronto Stock Exchange. So, yung 99 dollars na yan, yan yung buy and sell fee. That's right. Because when you buy a stock, you have to pay $9.95. And then when you sell it, regardless if you make money or not, you have to, of course, pay the fee of $9.95. Nonetheless, mga kababayan, I made $954 in just 3 days. That's already 4.3% of the money I used. Yeah. Right? Manulife, another huge financial institution dito sa Canada. I bought it February 13. Sold it the following day. I bought it around 2093. Uh, and then the following day, I I was able to sell it at 2139. Meron pong reason bakit ko siya nabili at this price at naibenta ko at this price. So I my my gain is around 515. Again, minus the trading fee. Still, I made $495 in, in just one day. Ito pa po. Ito ang uh, sikat na sikat ngayon. Dahil na-legalized na po ang marijuana sa Canada, I tried buying one. Canopy Growth. February 14 and I sold it the following day. I bought it for $61.18 and I sold it for $64.44. Uh, that is the following day. So, gains of $1,270 minus the P, I still made $1,250 in just one day. 5.3% ng aking uh, money na ginawa. Mga kababayan, hindi po ako nagyayabang dito. Um, what I'm just trying to show you guys, yung potential, kung gano'ng kalaki ang pwede nyo kitain sa stock market as long as you're doing your assignment. Kailangan po talaga, kung interesado kayo, you have to spend some time to study the stock na gusto nyong bilhin and ano po ba yung mga dapat um, tignan or mga factors na pwedeng magpataas ng presyo ng stock na gusto nyong bilhin. Um, so, based from the profits I made in just span of days, mukha pong madali lang, di ba? To make money from stock trading. Believe me, it's not, mga kababayan. There's no easy money talaga. Yes. Uh, I've been trading uh, sa stock market for five years now. So somehow, I was able uh, to to learn kung ano po ba yung mga dapat hindi dapat gawin sa pagbili ng stocks. Example lang po ito ng aking trading. Meron din po ako mga losses. Um... Because you will you will lose money sa stock market. That's that's number one thing na kailangan natin um, uh, malaman uh, kung interesado kayo. Because even before you invest or buy stock, you already lost money by buy, by paying the fee, right? The trading fee. So having said that, buying and selling stocks. It's not for the faint of the heart. Kailangan po ay disiplinado kayo. Kailangan po you're doing your research. Kailangan po um, meron kayong basic understanding of the stock market. You don't have to be a, an expert. Yeah. Hindi nyo naman kailangan maging alamin lahat ng term or, or paano magbasa ng financial yeah. statement ng, ng mga company or mag, mag-analyze lahat ng mga chart na ginagamit. You don't have to make it in a mm-hmm. So, for me, I'm just new in stock trading. Siguro, uh, I started uh, December. Mm-hmm. So, gusto ko rin matuto talaga ng stock trading. So, what I did is, I just, I nag, nag, ano na, nanood lang ako ng YouTube. Mm-hmm. Tapos, inintroduce sa akin ni, ni Don. Tapos, uh, from that point, basa-basa ako. Mga, mga ano, tawag dito, yung mga business news, mga gano'n. From that, nat- natuto ako pa konti-konti. So, gano'n kayo mag start pag nag-stock nag- trading na rin kayo. That's right. And as I've said, kailangan din ng experience. So, tulad ni 
Kuya Carlo. Nagsimula siya from a beginner and until na experience niya kung paano ba bumili, magbenta. Uh, he already had losses but he already made lots of gains as well. That's why, as having a nila, diba, experience is the best teacher. Yeah. Oh, Alien? Alien. <laughs> so, <clears throat> mga kababayan, there's three ways paano kumita sa stock market. And yung appreciation of the price ng stock is only one of them. The potential to earn is, is actually unlimited. As long as you do or you do your due diligence to analyze the stock that you are going to buy. And when I said analyze, it means when to buy a stock at a good price. Iba sa yung sabi nila, buy low, sell high. So sa akin po, buy at a good price. Because when you say buy at a low price, ano ho ba yung low price? Kasi kung binili nyo siya ng 10, sa tingin nyo 10 is low, $10 is low, and bumaba pa ng 5, so it defeats its purpose, right? So, Buying a stock at a good price, that's why you have to analyze it. You have to do your research um, about the company that you're, you're, you're interested in. And then sell it at a high price. Gawin din po, you have to analyze or research based sa mga chart uh, na ginagamit uh, kung, kung ano po, the best time to sell it to maximize your profit. Alien? <laughs> yeah. So, ito po, example lang. Ito pong ang um, stock ng Air Canada. Uh, this was dated March 6. Ito po ang kanyang price fluctuation for the span of six or 3 months. So, sa website po ng Toronto Stock Exchange, TMX Money, pwede nyo pong i-enter doon yung stock na gusto nyo makita or i-analyze or pag-aralan. And ipapakita nyo sa inyo yung uh, chart uh, ng stock na yun how the stock price is doing for the past one day, five days, one month, three months, six months, one year, and so on. So, ito po, Air Canada. Let's say, interesado kayo sa stock nito. And, meron po kayong RSP um, or DFSA money na ginamit nyo. Uh, bumili kayo ng stock Let's say 200 stocks or 200 shares at 23.90. And then, because you did your analysis, your research, natataas yung stock, that's why you bought it at low price or at this price, tumas nga po siya for the next couple of days until it reached 28.46. So you decided to sell. Imagine from 23.90 naging 28.46. Imagine how how much money you're gonna make. And in this case, it's 912. But if you keep holding on to the stock for three, two more, two or three more weeks, you would have made 1798 dollars because the stock keep on gaining. Uh, it's um, from gaining or increasing. Hindi mo, mo kikita rin sa banko yan. That's Ganyan right. Kalaki. Imagine, gaano kalaki nung uh, rate na bumalik sa'yo uh, by investing in just one stock. In just one stock. And in just couple of days or weeks. Isa sa mga potential of buying a stock na sa tingin nyo ay ma- maganda yung potential, maganda yung growth. Uh, the, the, man, but the management is doing a really good job of um, running the company. Uh, wala po silang any controversy or any uh, issues. Um, kaya po, um, mala, mahalaga talaga na pag-aralan mabuti yung stock na bibili natin before you decide on buying. So, ang pangalawa pong uh, paraan para kumita sa stock market is through dividend. Uh, large companies usually with record of consistent growth and profitability over the years, pay dividends to their stockholders. Ano ba ang dividend? It's actually, it's like an appreciation ng company sa'yo for owing their stock. And they express it in a monetary way. 
and you can be paid either semi-annually, quarterly, or monthly basis depending po yan sa company. However, mga kababayan, you have to hold the stock for a certain period of time before you qualify for the dividend payout. So, pag-aaralan po natin yan later on sa mga uh, kusunod na mga, issue, mga topic natin. And yung amount of dividend na binibigay ng bawat company, may kita nyo yan sa detailed quote of the stock of that company at yung frequency po ng payout nila. So, for example, ito pong WestJet Airlines, another huge airline company dito sa Canada, na kanilang ticker symbol or stock code is WJA. Um, so, ito po yung chart nila for the past, co- pa- for the 6 months. And sa baba po, makikita nyo yung detailed code. At dyan po, pinapakita nyo yung, yung details about the stock. Yung opening price, yung high price niya, Marami pa pong iba. Pag ma- i-share po namin sa inyo ano ibig sabihin ng mga to sa mga susunod na araw. Pero ito po yung gusto nyong makita, yung dividend. In this case, they're paying 14 Canadian dollars every 3 months. And yung d- date na i- i- i-release nila yung payout po, in this case, is March 12. So if you own 500 shares of this stock, your dividend payout is simply 0.14 dollars times 500 which is 70 dollars every 3 months na hawak nyo hanggat hawak nyo po yung stock and the payout date will be March 12 so the third way of making money sa stock is short selling short selling is uh, profiting from stock market by selling the stock or other or other securities in advance of acquiring them um, in the aim of making a profit when the price fall a little bit complicated so we don't recommend this for beginners uh, who's just starting to invest the stock market pero yun po um, that's the summary of our presentation pagdating po sa potential ng pag invest sa stock market using direct investing account Kaya po, samahan nyo kami uh, sa susunod na topic natin. Don't forget po, subscribe sa aming YouTube channel, Kabayan Investor Canada. Yeah. So, uh, isa, lang, isa lang to sa mga mga videos na ginagawa namin. So, kung mag-start nyo yung mga ano natin, ating turuan sa inyo, is pag may mga question kayo, uh, pwede kayong mag-comment. I-comment yung mga itatanong nyo. Mm-hmm. Para the next videos namin i, i ano namin i nasagutin namin. Mga kababayan, um I just want to make it clear that uh, we're not here to sell you any products or any investment. Uh, we're not an employee of any bank or any financial institution. Uh, we're not here to recommend you to buy this stock or to sell this stock. Um nandito lang po kami para magbahagi ng aming konting kalaman at karanasan sa pag-invest sa stock market. 